ערב טוב לכולם, אני אלה מדליה, מפיקה ובימאית, ואיתנו יש לי את העונג שמצטרף אלינו פירס. אני אתחיל ברשמיות, ברוכים הבאים לפסטיבל דוק אביב ה-22. אנחנו מאוד שמחים לארח בפסטיבל את פירס פייד, במאי עשרת המערה. עכשיו אנחנו נתחיל את השיחה, וזה יהיה חצי שעה. ממש מזמינים את כולכם להשאיר שאלות באזור של ה-Q&A, ולא באזור של הצ'אט. אנחנו רוצים להודות לנשיונל ג'אוגרפיק על שיתוף הפעולה המתמשך עם הפסטיבל, שאפשר לנו להקרין את הסרט גם בהקרנת הבכורה בדוק אביב בגליל, וגם עכשיו בדוק אביב אונליין, ועכשיו נעבור לאנגלית, גם השיחה כמובן תהיה באנגלית. Welcome to the 22nd Doc Aviv Film Festival. We are honored to have uh, Firat Fayad, the filmmaker of The Cave, with us today. Uh, the webinar would last 30 minutes, and we invite you to leave your questions or thoughts in the Q&A section at any time. And hopefully I'll manage to navigate it smoothly. Um, we would like to thank the National Geographic for their collaboration and friendship which made this uh, event happen. Uh, so, hello, Firas. Uh, Firas, are you in Denmark? No. No, I'm in uh, Berlin. In Berlin? Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. And, yes. Uh, especially, it's always special for me to screen, you know, when the film is screened here in Israel, and even more so when you are joining us uh, for Q&A. So, Thank you. Thank you so uh, much for uh, thank you so much for having me here and uh, really happy this is film will be heard and seen from everyone around. Uh, yeah, so thank you. <laughs> um, and uh, I'll start uh, with a small question. Maybe you can share with the audience how this whole film came about and also. <laughs> how you even managed to film this time in Syria. Yeah, um, this is film, uh, it came as a, um, uh, it's a lot, a lot like long uh, and far uh, and deep idea connected to my all, um, uh, uh, to what I witnessed on the, on the hospitals. So I, I, uh, what I did, what, what I tried to do is, um, uh, is trying to focus about the relation between the hospital and the uh, female doctors. But also because the hospital was, uh, and the doctor was like a great target on the, for the Syrian regime. And... Ah, we lost Firas. Maya, let's go. Or Mishumi Dokovil. Uh, אני רק אגיד לכם שהיה איזה בלבול עם השעות, ועוד שנייה הוא יגיע למקום עם uh, אינטרנט, אבל... Uh, uh, הנה, אני רואה גם שמתחילים לשאול אותנו שאלות, שזה נחמד. אז uh, שנייה נחכה שפירס יתחבר אלינו עוד פעם. Uh, I'll say in English too. Uh, Firas was uh, a bit late in arriving, so that's why he, we don't have good reception, but I'm sure we're going to reconnect him in a second. So it will be uh, fine. Uh, if you all can wait a second. Oh, here we go. Hi, Firas. We lost you for a second. Uh, I can't hear you. Maybe unmute yourself for a second. True, true. Yes, okay. that's Very right. Good. You arrived? Yeah. yeah, I'm arrived. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we didn't hear you. Maybe you can repeat and share with us how this whole thing came about and also how you managed to even shoot at this time in Syria, which seemed very dangerous. Yeah. Um, 
you know, um, uh, I used to work in my movie, uh, uh, the, uh, the Poor's Last Man of the Cave, in, uh, uh, in such a situation that not all the time that uh, as a director I should be in the locations. Um, there is like a kind of uh, collaboration and style I develop it for the, the films that I'm working on. Um, uh, in, in my country, in Syria, it's hard. Uh, I'm a person who not uh, welcomed. Uh, on that easy way, like uh, 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 to be there because already I've been arrested and tortured because my activities as a filmmaker and my work. So I try to all the time, even if I didn't access for the information that I want and the story that I want to tell, try like to collaborate with the people that can help me to tell the stories and focus on the stories to bring it out. And that's what's happened with the Last Minute Boy and the End of Cave. Even the, uh, the Last Minute Boy is developed, uh, developed with a footage that I already shot in Syria and I bought it on the front of the producer. And then those footage it was like a ground for making that films. And those footage I was like experienced, uh, I've been having like so long relation with uh, the white helmets and the well, know, uh, well known with them, close, close uh, knowledge mm -hmm. about their work and the risk with that. And I experienced the risk that they face in my, in my life through the footage that I already, those footage didn't end in the film in the, in the last minute. I mean, the cave, it's also about those hospital that all the time that was targeted for the Syrian regime. Were, and the Russians. And inside those hospital, it turned to be not just hospital for saving lives, it's hospital where the culture is being built. So I don't want also to approach those festivals, those hospitals as, um, as a, in journalistic way. I go like for the camera and then I films and then I put it and then I throw it in the television. Maybe for, this, for the journalist, uh, this is the right way like to, uh, to do film in the war zone. No, for me, it's like it, it's a stand on the communication, stand on the stories and stand on the moment. I need to explore the emotion and the moment and relation between uh, my subject and the, uh, um, and the people around here. Even uh, uh, this is like the explore, it takes me like to film in many, uh, many level or long times uh, this period. So in the cave, I established a team that in the area where it's sieged and I talked to them and I, we've been like in long conversation. When, uh, when the main subject uh, ter uh, 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 left Syria, uh, left the area, uh, forced to leave the area to another area, uh, I was, I met her there and I follow with her, like I'm filming some a more moment with her in different hospitals, like how she uh, her relation with the people, how she's searching about a new place, how she can find herself, and I try like to put all of this experience in one film as a one experience in one hospital. That that the way, of course, all of this is, is about like the observation and more communication with the subject, and more about like finding the right moment to capture. It's not just about, like, okay, uh, what's, go what's happening in that moment, I have to capture it. No, it's not important what's happening in that moment. It's important how I can explore the emotional. There's artistic level, I have to deal with it. I have to, to, to put the film in different level, not to be a usual film about hospital and somebody reporting those hospital is being bombed. This is York Time can do it. This is can, uh, uh, that can channel forward do it. Any, any te uh, televisions can do it, but as a filmmaker, I have more responsibility to bring more what those characters, how that those people can interact and act and understand them, understand their trauma and their behavior, their, uh, their, their fear, how they, 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 they been expressed themselves in, in this way. And, and just uh, if you can, so you're able to go to Syria, but not to the area of the hospital or because of your yeah. work, you're not even able to go to Syria. Yeah, I went to the areas where uh, the areas that where the hospital, uh, the, this hospital, I, I tried to enter, I couldn't. Uh, and uh, my cinematographer, yeah, I couldn't. My cinematographer uh, continued filming there. And when this area being captured by Russian and Syrian regime, my my sub my my subject left to another area, and then I met them there and I continue filming with there. I was in Syria, but in other area. I managed to access there, but undercover, of course, it's not like, okay, this is whom am I and uh, let me in. It's not easy. It was, I have like, I take like a lot of, a lot of effort like to get in, to film, to, to do all of this is, uh, this is filming, yeah. I'll take the, uh, people are starting to writing us questions. Right. So I'll start. 
it seems as if the characters in the movie uh, ignore the camera completely, uh, except for a few kids. How did you manage to make it look this way? Or how did you create this relationship with the characters that they completely, you know, they behave norm regularly and ignore the camera? So, um, actually, uh, being, uh, um, um, the, the most important is your main, the, the main, main character or like the doctors that I'm filming with her, Dr. Amani. She was super comfortable and give me the access to communicate and to ask her what I want to film with her. And that's easy for me like to, to get her soul outside and who she are outside. Um, so when she's as a doctor, she's this have a talented of like communicating with the, with the, with the kids and talking to them and uh, having this conversation. All what I did is I managed to, f uh, uh, to capture this conversation. So the kids forget because the conversation was for the kids was for this girl is more interesting with the girls, with uh, Dr. Amani more than who's filming her. That's, that's the way. If you have, if you, as a filmmaker, if, if this is what, what the difference between journalists and filmmaking. Journalists, it doesn't, doesn't go to this deep in this way. Journalists want to capture something happening and go it out. The filmmaker, I, if I have, like, I have an artistic vision and I have like a kind of uh, emotion search that I, I do it. I establish, I have to make a collaboration and establish a strong relation with my subject to go to have all the emotion that I want. And then in the editing, I decide the film told through emotions, not told through information, not told about like, okay, uh, this is what's happened. No, how does emotion it's moved? What, how does emotion being explored between the character and relation between them? So for the journalist, could be this is an ethical way, but for us as an artist, we don't care. We don't care about this. We care about more about how we can get the depth and soul of this uh, uh, subject. Oops, sorry, I was muted. I'll yeah. jump a little bit because someone was asking about uh, other than uh, Dr. Armani, but actually about the surgeon in the film. Uh, if you can talk about uh, the surgeon. Yeah, the surgeon, Dr. Salim, is a really um, a very respectful doctor was in his area. And uh, he was one of the m very powerful supporter for Dr. Amani. He's and a from, I actually uh, met him because he was in Idfa. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So um, uh, Salim is a, a, a he's, he's like an unwell-educated and intellectual person that, you know, as a doctor, he listened to the, the um, the classic music, you know, um, you know, like as an intellectual person that he loved, he was having this story that the, 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 that he want to run all the time the, the 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 classic music in in the hospital because he think this is the right way like to uh, to calm the people around, but also he loved that kind of music. He emotionally connect with this kind of the music personally, but also. In the story, we used all of this is to connect them with each other. We feel like how much like this relation that built between those people inside the hospital, it's how much is important, how much is comfortable, even in the middle of the chaos and destruction and the war. There is a moment for joyful, there is a moment for surviving. As a human, we are survival in the end, in every single thing. Look what's happening around us in COVID-19. We are all of us now considered as a survival. Even with that, uh, uh, um, uh, like even, even in, in Syria, the, 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 it's more was worst in, in, in many levels that you can explain. Um, and maybe the, the people, uh, the Jewish people know this uh, situation and experience that, that how much, what does mean that the whole is, this, this is pressure and the destruction and, the, uh, and the, the, the death threat that happening every single moment from everyone that around you. How you can find that through the happiness. And this is the mission of the cinema. I'm not claiming that I'm making a journalistic film. No, my film is a fil cinema film. It's a, it's a story, it's emotions, it's, it's, um, uh, it's something that people uh, can experience through their emotion. They have not uh, to go through like, uh, um, if I wanna know more about information, they have to go to their search. 
Here, it's emotional experience. That's what I want to take to the people to, through it. Uh, thank you. And Firas, uh, people want to know also, uh, where are they now and where is Dr. Amani and how is she doing? Um, uh, Dr. Amani now in Berlin. Uh, she's doing okay. And uh, I mean, um, she's trying like to survive. Uh, she's still like... Um, I mean, she 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 like catching the power of her uh, of her. Um... Can I ask you for a second, can you repeat? Yeah, you she, she's 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 in Berlin. She's living in Berlin with her husband. She get married with a very uh, nice man and uh, well educated. He's a, a city engineer, and uh, the both of them they living in a kind of calm situation, trying like to just leave the past between them uh, between behind them but dr amani she turned to be a speaker in the name of syria and try like to talk every, to everywhere and try like to share the every single information that she can about her experience as a doctor and dr salim is he back in syria no he's also in um, in germany and also someone was asking where are you now and uh I'm in Germany. In you are in Germany too. So you all live in exile, basically. And your family is still in Syria, right? Yes, my family is still in Syria. Um, okay. So uh, someone was asking, how much raw material has been shot overall? Uh, the, the, the material that we own, that we film it by ourselves, it's 500... Uh, um, Hours, the material that uh, in, 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 in one city and other city also around the 300 hours, the whole materials with archives that every day I was in the editing room, I was receiving archive from activists, from, uh, from doctors, documented what's happening around them and was like supposed to including in the film. So the full mat material, including the material that we filmed, the archives is 1,000 and 200 hours. We didn't look to all this material actually. Uh, I, I, man, I try, we try to look to through all these materials, but uh, we, we try like to find, as we say, like an, an story that make people go with a journey with a, a very uh, a human beings, a human being with a with a with a stronger human values that focusing in her, in her, in her, th in in her um, st strength that to save lives and to educate the other people around here to be inspiring story. That's what we try to tell through, through the film. Uh, and another uh, filming question, uh, someone was asking about the narration, the voiceover. Uh, can you talk a little bit how and when that was recorded? Was it during the filming or actually later in the editing room? Uh, and did the doctor write the narration? I mean, I assume you wrote it. The, the narration is written bit, uh, like it's written with a collaboration with Dr. Amani, uh, me and uh, uh, writer Alisar Hassan. So uh, both of us and with Dr. Amani have a conversation. Like we put, uh, we send her a question um, and we uh, ask her like about moments, specific moment. Uh, we collect some, uh, some notes she wrote and then we try like to shape them and then we write them down and then we sit with her and ask her like again to to see how much those connect with you through what you said and then again we show her the films and we tell her like we we planning to put this here this here this here this here so can we work more about this so then we uh, uh we work on this uh thus so like we we, we recorded like around uh, 10, 20, uh, like, I'm sorry, maybe 20 pages. I don't, I, I don't have a number. I'm not good numbers. Even in my, uh, my uh, being in the jail all the time, like sometimes say like six months, eight months, six months, because <laughs> I don't, I'm not good, uh, good in numbers. Um, I mean, I have a t uh, trouble with this. So um, uh, uh, it's around, uh, uh, we, we recorded a lot of, uh, sound bite for her and we told her like we're gonna put them there and then after we finish uh, we uh, narrow this uh, moment we decide about narrowing this moment and choose those specific that moment so it's like it take a lot of work like but all the time was with a collaboration with her of course like with those her words 
we try just to shape them in a way to work. Uh, we lost you for us again. Hear us? Okay, we'll give it one more shot to see if we can reconnect to him. I apologize for all the technical difficulties. Hopefully we can get him to say, you know, to stay for another few minutes with us for last question. And get a note from Dr. Viv that they're trying to reach him and reconnect him, so. Please wait a little longer. אני חייבת לשתף אתכם שאני מכירה את פירס הרבה שנים, ואחד הדברים שתמיד מדהימים אותי זה גם האומץ שלו, כאילו גם כשהוא הקרין את ה-Last Man of Aleppo, את הסרט הקודם שלו, וגם את הסרט הזה, כאילו זה מאוד חשוב לו להקרין את הסרטים שלו בישראל ולדבר עם הקהל, כאילו הוא תמיד מדבר על ה... ואני שאל אותו, הוא אמר כמה מילים על זה בהתחלה, על החיבור שלו לקהל. ועל זה שהוא מאמין שדרך האנשים אנחנו יכולים לעשות איזשהו שינוי. ובגלל זה זה חשוב לו, ובגלל זה גם הוא הסכים להיות איתנו עכשיו. אני מקווה שנצליח לחבר אותו. רגע, נראה. טוב, נחכה עוד דקה, אני מקווה שנצליח. אם אהבתם את הסרט, אני מאוד ממליצה לכם גם לראות את הסרט הקודם. הסרט הזה היה מועמד לאוסקר, וגם הסרט הקודם שלו, Alas Man of Aleppo. מאוד ממליצה. קשה, קשוח, אבל חשוב וחזק. וגם היה מועמד לאוסקר, אם אינני טועה. טוב, נראה לי ש... יש בעיות טכניות להעלות אותו. בכל מקרה, uh, תודה לכולכם. Thank you everybody for joining us. Sorry for the abrupt ending of this conversation. And I would like to thank uh, Firas again for joining us and to at least answer some of our questions. And uh, I hope you all enjoy, continue to enjoy Doc Aviv. I think today is the award ceremony, so we'll know who wins. And of course, this film is also competing in a special and new competition that of course I uh, forgot the name, but uh, finger crossed for the winning uh, an award. And I'm sure if not uh, the cave, other films will win. Uh, to, uh, thank you. Toda lekulchem sheikshavtem. Ve nitreye be'eruim achirim shel Dokoviv. Toda. Bye.